Hey guys, it's me Charlene. Today is July 10th, 2015. On today's video, I just wanted to talk to you about Angel Wing. This is my little Sebastopol Gosling, and there has been a lot of talk about protein in the diet that can cause Angel Wing. And this little guy, he's been eating grass almost like, let's see, he comes out in the morning for about an hour, and then he comes back out when I come back home and he stays out until 11 o'clock. So 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. So 8 hours, I guess, he eats grass. And when I put him to bed at night, he eats the um, protein chick food that he gets. It's like a, you know, uh, waterfowl food. And it's for growth. And um, this happens. He's got a little tip there hanging out and a little tip there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little, um, kind of like a straight jacket for him. And it's basically using a t-shirt, short sleeve t-shirt. Cut out the sleeve, get a rubber band. You wrap it around his body, tighten it with the rubber band on top. And then for three days, he has to wear that. But every day he gets to take it off to stretch his wings. And on day three, it should fix. So I'm going to do that, and then I'll show you guys what he looks like. Um, after having three days of this treatment and um, I'll show you a, a video clip of what it looks like on him as well but this is a little Sebastopol gosling pure white with the curly feathers look at him he just trims all this he ignores the vegetables thank God and the flowers these are carrots the chickens have been trimming it but I let them Sebi, boo-boo. Sebi, boo-boo. He's so cute. And my little chicken. She's got two babies under her. This is Matilda. Can you believe she is about going on seven years old? Because when I got her, she was a year and year and a half. And it's been, it's a year and a half. Um, one and a half, two and a half, three and a half, four and a half, five and a half. It's like a six years old. Okay, so here's an example of it being only 15 hours and his wings aren't even sticking out. Look at that. That's 15 hours. So, that's fantastic. So, I may check out, check out how he's doing for the rest of the evening. And if I see anything strange, then I'll go ahead and put it back on him. And what's amazing is those wings were turned out completely. But look at that already. I just took it off him. A little straight jacket that I made for him. This one here. He's doing great. And this has only been 15 hours. Hey guys, it's me Charlie. Today is July 10, 2015. And here's an example of how I'm fixing the angel wing. So I took a t-shirt of mine, cut off the sleeve, um, fixed his wings into place the way they should look as he's growing tucked them under and flattened them out perfectly, stuck the sleeve over him, and then took a thick rubber band and put it on top. Made sure none of his feathers are stuck in the rubber band because that's uncomfortable. It's kind of like having your hair put in a ponytail and then a piece of hair itches on the side forever. So I'm doing this at night. Um, it's about 10, 17 p.m. And um, I normally put him in, in his little Rubbermaid container with fresh pine shavings every night, some fresh food and some water. And um, I'm doing this in the evening um, because I don't go to bed until like 11.30, sometimes 12. This gives me enough time to see what he's doing, settle down. He only gets to eat his um, little chicken protein food in the evenings and then um, before he goes to bed. And then in the morning, he gets out for an hour and has grass. Then I put him away, and then when I come home around 2, he stays up for the rest of the evening and afternoon eating grass. So he doesn't get a huge amount of protein, but he does get enough that he can, you know, get full on. So we don't know exactly 100% how the angel wing is caused, but they say by protein, too much protein can cause it. So both his wings have angel wing, and I'm going to fix this, and this should take two days. So I'll show you another clip of how it looks. Possibly tomorrow, might be the same. But you want to catch this before the bones harden. He's still a little gosling, so he's a little fuzzy. Big gosling because he's a goose. He fits in his entire tote. You like that, huh? 
By the way, I have more eggs in the incubator of this breed. Woohoo! Okay, so I want to consider this day four because it took about three and a half days for me to fix his little angel wings. Um, I spent a little too much time allowing him to run around without his little straight jacket that I made him. And so, um, really, I mean, give him 30 minutes so they can flap their wings and stretch and then put it back on them. And the funny thing is, is he likes putting it on. When I show him the entrance of the hole to slip over his head, he just looks at it like as if he's ready to put his t-shirt on. So I thought that was really cute. So let's get a closer look. Yeah, you hear baby goslings asking me if they could have something to snack on. Hello, baby. So look, he tucked his wing away. That one's tucked away. And on this side, that just, calm down. Get my doggy here. That one's tucked away. It's not hanging out anymore. I know. Our grass is dead. So, happy to report his angel wings are now fixed. See? Wanna give the camera a kiss? A kissy. You're a good little gosling. He still has a fuzzy head. You have a fuzzy head. Look at that fuzz. Look at that fuzz. You got a fuzzy head. Fuzzy wuzzy bale. There's the Chinese brown swan geese. Those are from Poultry Bonkers, also known as Budgie Bonkers. Alright, thanks for watching. Hope this helped you guys out. And um, I may include some photos in my Facebook page on how it looks. And hopefully when I put these clips together, it'll explain a little bit better. If not, oh well, I'll try to do it again. I'm sure it might happen with maybe one of these little guys.